for those of the young engineers who have that entrepreneurial spirit and that want to start their own firm eventually, what do you think would be the best path for them to follow and ultimately get to where you have your own firm and have that client base to where you have that consistent workflow and how do you even get those clients to begin with? Well, I think you started by telling a story about uh, meeting your current boss at a professional organization. You gotta do that like all the time. Be involved in everything, meet as many people as you can, and that will help you develop your client base, especially public clients. Okay, what would be a path? I would say one, get experience and start to meet other private firms that would bring you on as a sub potentially. And so when you create your business, you've got some contractual relationship with larger firms who will bring you on as a sub consultant, mm. give you some fresh new work. And then as you grow, you can start to get into being in the prime and doing, you know, chasing projects as the prime lead. But none of that's really going to happen without you first getting the experience in the work and recognize the market and where you want to be. The bird is going to go chase the worm no matter where that worm is, right? So like if you've got to get up early and, you know, go to Humboldt County, if that's where the worms are, you got to go get them. If you are got that entrepreneurial spirit and you want to have your own firm, one, Get as much experience as you can. Work, 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 work. Because uh, being an entrepreneur is not like it's easy. Make those connections with other firms and project managers that are going to help you, give you your first contract, and things like that. But then focus geographically on an area where you know there is going to be a lot of work. And that can be a little tough to figure out. But the best place to start is right where you live.